A major presence in Christchurch for nearly three years now, the cordon has become a symbol of the events that took place here. From today, as the city centre reopens, the future of Christchurch will be clearer. A couple of friends from our Defence Forces came in and said, what can we do to help? We said, well, you know, we're going to need a lot of manpower. There was the Navy in Littleton Harbour. They set up stations to help and to feed. Here in the city, young men and women from the Defence Forces were deployed around the cordons. And then the Air Force stepped in, shifting supplies, flying out tourists, getting them out of the city. And we often thought as citizens, as we looked at you standing on the cordons on a freezing winter's night, what a tough job that is. We were here at the start and we're here at the very end. The weight of that burden and the proof of that is on the shoulders of these men and women who stand in front of you here today. And these are men and women that I, as the Chief of Defence Force, am immensely proud of because everyone in the Defence Force has contributed to their support for Christchurch. Most people think of the Defence Force as only doing things overseas. This earthquake and our support to you has shown that this is New Zealand's Defence Force and is here for when New Zealand needs it. It's been an extraordinary relationship and we're sad to see you go. So thank you for what you've done. I'm going to ask uh, the people of my city to give you three cheers. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Prime Minister, I formally ask permission to dismiss the last of the Cordon Guard. Permission granted.